great driving range, plenty of tech gizmos. The 2024 Audi Q450 e-tron Quattro is a pleasant and premium EV crossover with little range anxiety and we're going to tell you all about it here today. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides and I'm here at Audi Lakeland in Florida with the new 2024 Audi Q450 e-tron and we have to go over what's new for the 2024 model year, what this car is all about when it comes to electric range, what's the features, the options, and the pricing. We're gonna break down this full car here today. So with that said, take the journey with me to check out the new Q450 e-tron. And big shout out to Audi Lakeland here in Florida. If you guys want to get one of these models, in your garage make sure you guys check the link in the description for their website give them a call check out their inventory see which q450 model is best for you now what's new for the 2024 audi q450 e-tron this year well you have adaptive cruise control with a lane centering feature standard on all q4 e-tron models for 2024 the suv steering wheel also gets paddle shifters that allow for quick adjustments of the regenerative braking levels. Now you also have the premium uh, package or premium and convenience packages now that include the programmable garage door opener and this feature is now standard on the premium plus and prestige trims. In front of us we have the prestige trim so we'll get into what all that involves for this model year. Now of course we got to mention dimensions because for this front and rear motor all-wheel drive five passenger four-door wagon you're looking at a wheelbase of 108.7 inches with a length of 180.7 inches a width of 73.4 inches and a height of 64.7 inches with a curb weight of 4964 pounds now opening up the front of the q450 remember this is an electric vehicle so there's no engine under the hood and for this model there's no extra cargo but what do we have here as far as performance? Well, we have front and rear motors, which are induction asynchronous motors with a AC permanent management asynchronous AC. Now with that said, a combined 295 horses with 339 pound feet of torque and a transmission with direct drive, well, front and rear direct drive because you have front and rear motors, you're looking at a zero to 60 time at 5.6 seconds with a top speed governed at 113 miles per hour now let's talk about charging and range and everything so forth so on so back here again with an electric vehicle that's not a fuel door that's actually your charging door as you guys can see here we'll get a little closer and get that to focus so you guys can see the plug in there so now that we know where the charging port is let's talk about charging our 77 kilowatt liquid cooled lithium ion battery pack so we have an onboard 11 kilowatt charger and we have a peak dc fast charge rate of 125 kilowatt and now the observed mpge is at 93 that means for your epa fuel economy your combined 95 city 100 and highway 89 mpge with a range of 241 miles the dc fast charge rate from 10 to 90 percent which is 87 kilowatts and a dc fast charge time from 10 to 90 percent in 44 minutes now if you know audi models you're gonna know right away that we have something special here today with the black optic package on this pebble gray paint now the pebble gray paint we're going to talk about as far as pricing and what actually it is in the sticker breakdown but Pebble Gray looks very much so like Nardo Gray, just a little bit lighter when it comes to the overall spec. But with the black optic package, with all the black bits here, the black Audi badges and all that stuff that are options, it really sets it off. So as you guys can see, because we have an electric vehicle here, well, the big wide open grill is done but filled in in a black finish. Now with the black Audi rings, with the smoked rings there, I really like how this is all set up because it's more stealthy and it goes with that pebble gray paint more. Now, what I like about the center grill here is that in these slats here, it's done in gloss black with the matte black. They could have been in all matte black or the plastic black, but they added some styling and some prestige and class adding that black because the gloss black slats, you know, horizontally here goes very, very well with the surround done in gloss black and the um, e-tron badging there as well. So you guys can get that e-tron styling and design language all fitted in here but with that setup i think it re looks really good now keep in mind that these headlights 
our full LED headlamps, which we will see illuminated shortly, but these are an option for this model, part of that prestige package that we've been talking about and we will have um, on the sticker breakdown. You guys can also see the sensors, the cameras, everything working up front here with the styling integrated into the bumpers, integrated into the side vertical sliding here, and then more gloss black when it comes to those vertical side blades, again, to match the horizontal side blades right here in the grill. So then you take a step back and you put it all together and you see where the stylistic elements all work together, all flow, and are all functional. Now, when it comes to the side profile, there's a lot of symmetry here, if you guys couldn't tell. But let's start at the 20-inch, five wide-spoke wheels, bicolor finish. And this is an option here that we have on this model. So make sure you guys soak this in because this is a good option to have with the monochrome Audi uh, center cap there. And then, obviously, you guys can see if we step back and look at those Bridgestone tires all together. It's a pretty good fit, and again, the bi-tone finish really goes with the pebble gray in a specific spec. The front fender will give you the S-line trim on the badging there, as you guys can see that. You guys know what that red strike through means. means we got the S-line here. And then when it comes to symmetry, this is what I was talking about. Because the side skirt down here is done in black gloss black to be you know more specific which looks really nice against the pebble gray but then you add it to the window moldings and b pillar also done in black to add it all together but then we also have well the bottom of the pebble gray mirrors are done in black with the black roof rails as well and then with the roof rails you have the black shark fin antenna and then the glass roof for the sunroof option as well there so when you put it all together you have the black flooring line that goes into the spoiler with the pebble gray and the siding right here that goes to the back which we'll talk about in just a moment put it all together and again i love the way that they contrasted the spec and how it all looks when you come to the side profile and now when it comes to the back i think this is probably one of my favorite sides or angles shall i say because again, that symmetry goes in, but the light bar, the LED light bar, and keep in mind we have LED options on this. These lights look so good. They wrap around the side with the Audi insignia there, little Easter egg there, and they come all the way across with the black Q4 badging, the black Audi rings, the light bar is still continuing all the way through Quattro badging there, and then goes around to the other side. That looks so clean and again we will see it illuminated in just a moment to see how it shines but that i love that look then once you get down to the bottom here you have some gloss black finish you have the plastic finish as well with obviously you guys can see the horizontal reflectors on both sides tow hitch there which is an actual option to have that tow hitch so we will break that down in the sticker and then we have the shark fin rear diffuser to bring everything together again taking a look at that with the integrated third brake light the gloss black surrounds at the top of the window i think that the rear just looks so sharp but let's check out the cargo of the q450 e-tron because we're looking at 25 cubic feet with the rear seats folded up but 53 cubic feet with the rear seats folded down and total passenger volume is 97 cubic feet so as you guys can see we have a 40 20 40 split when it comes to the seating here, we have a big privacy shade set up right over top that is easily removed. If you guys can't tell right there, to just pull that hook and then you're good to go. And then obviously we have tons of space back here as well. Where you guys see we have the cargo mat, we have the charger and everything that you saw plugged into here. Or not plugged into here, but set up here. They will plug in. You also have right here, which is going to be your first, not first aid kit, but your tire and plate kit. Everything there, as you guys can see. All right, then if I close that up, there's a little bit of a false floor because you guys can see a little storage there on each side, right? That's pretty deep. But then you pull up this, pull this up, false floor here for extra storage. We have our floor mats and everything down there as well. So that kind of just lets you know what you're looking at as far as your cargo space and what you can really utilize it for when it comes to the Q450. Now, as promised, I want to show you guys these laser lights because these matrix LEDs look like they can cut glass. Check those out. Sequential, nice, cool design when it comes to the overall look of the light and the styling and the way it protrudes, kind of coming with that 3D perspective here. It kind of gives it more depth, you know, with the blades here. And then obviously the switchback LED from bright white to amber it looks so cool on the top 
right here and then it reflects on the bottom so it almost looks like there's two beams there then you also have right here in the mirror cap the vertical blaze shining in amber looks really good and then the tails look so clean so clean i mean check that out look at how they're shining now and then imagine how they're gonna look at night and they're this bright during the daylight come on that looks phenomenal now before we hop into q450 this is our key fob right here with the audio rings at the bottom we also have the lock button up top the trunk release in the middle and the unlock button right there in the bottom keeps it simple the pull tab down here is going to be your physical key just in case your key fob battery dies you just press this in and pull down have a physical key and we also have a panic button on the back here as well i do like that it's on the back so you don't accidentally press it pressing any one of these you know most touch keys like lock unlock and trunk release so very nice and now that we've seen the key fob let's see what's inside of the q450 for 2024 because we have a couple of things here for our packages that's going to brighten things up a little bit when it comes to the overall tech and appearance now as you guys can see black leather and gray stitching for the seats now also on the seats you have that soft kind of alcantara feeling fabric along the sides which looks good and also feels soft so i'm assuming that these seats they're going to probably be pretty soft seats so we'll talk about those in just a moment now before i step in we do have our q4 floor mats as you guys can see with the rubber pedals and that kind of like i want to say like waffle cone kind of design you guys can see that in there <laughs> i do like that because it's very grippy and that's what they're used for um and then we'll step inside because oh these seats are comfortable oh okay all right all right i'm already i'm already feeling it these seats are very comfortable in the q450 starting off okay so we already looked at the seats but now i can tell you that they feel good um definitely all right and they kind of hold you in pretty good they're really wide i like the feeling of these all right so with that said genuine reaction there you do have on the door paneling gloss uh, gloss black all right over the aluminum and the hard touch black plastic that's going to give you your locking and your memories for your seating and then also obviously the door handle there and then we have the soft soft touches on the armrest uh, with the handle here and also the stitching to go with it our window controls our locks and obviously our uh, mirror controls there for our rear view mirror which is done in a nice gloss black and aluminum finish to you know kind of match up symmetry there we also have our trunk release there that button there as well and then the sonar speaker right there to go along with it now let's step inside and then let's turn this thing on power it up by stepping on the brake pedal and actually that's all you need to do so it's ready to go i just stepped on the brake pedal as you guys saw i even pressed the start stop button and we're ready to go it's an electric vehicle so that's how it works here in an ev now the overall styling is what you're used to for the most part for audi do have a very nice steering wheel here this feels very premium i like the backlit buttons okay so you have the backlit buttons which are not necessarily physical buttons but they are haptic so you guys will see that once this car is off these do not show the the script and everything the wording that you're seeing here and then when you actually press them it's kind of like a whole this whole thing moves um it's not necessarily a, a individual button but it knows where you're pressing in order for it to go so as you guys can see watch it flex see so this whole piece moves but it knows that i'm pressing okay there so we'll go over that in just a moment on this side you're driving assistance radio controls hands free and then over here this is going to be all for your speedo to get the information out of that you want audi rings in the center nice aluminum finish for this kind of wide or not wide spoke design but this like horizontal design going across and i like how you have different grab points you know here for this model so you guys however you're comfortable driving and holding the steering wheel and gripping it you got plenty of ways to do so so that's really nice now coming along this is a telescopic steering wheel so you guys can see right here under our actual uh, cruise control settings and everything here for this toggle you actually pull that down and you can move this and pull it in and do it closer to you and all that by doing that here so a telescopic steering wheel over here you have your windshield wiper uh, nozzles and everything controls there you have some lighting controls here as well and then you have your main lighting controls here for your headlights as you guys can see and the fog lights right there as well for those buttons they're actual physical buttons you have big aluminum pieces here over the hvac vents all right you have the textured plastic pieces 
over the speed out here and then going across you have a nice wood trim over the dash and over the glove box which looks really cool then it goes back to that soft uh, soft texture black um, on top of that then coming down over the glove box you see the e-tron done in that aluminum feel and then the glove box is actually down here so it's a little bit deeper than you would think then you pull that and you guys can see actually it's a pretty big glove box so i like how it's kind of hidden there and then it comes all the way down really nice with the h-bag vents plug across that then we'll talk about the screen in just a moment once we get to this as well but we keep going with the design features like the dual zone climate controls with the lcd screen here as well you guys can see your heated seat controls here on each side too all right and then down here this is going to be your main hub right here this is going to be everything you use and this is your floating hub because underneath here you have your wireless charging you also have your usb 2.0 not usb 2.0 usb c plugins right there as you guys can see and then your 12 volt there as well now your wireless charging is actually right here you set your phone here and it, this holds it in and it charges sitting uh sideways like this that's just storage underneath there all right so that's extra storage to put anything but i'm going to do this real time so you guys can see what i'm talking about so i got my phone here what i would do is just set it here set the back to it there and it charges sitting like that so don't let me forget that by the end of the video guys comment in the video don't forget your phone <laughs> so, so then we have our central tunnel here which is nice that we have this kind of like open feel here so it's not blocking the whole thing and you have cup holders here and that's still pretty far down so even if you have cups here you're not hitting them you know it's a high traffic area so you're not hitting the cup holders so that's very nice now look at this we have our drive select mode here right up top with our hazard button and our traction off button. We can actually turn off the traction for here. All right, so that's pretty crazy. Drive select is gonna be your drive mode. So if I press that, actually, let me get this screen going. Which I'll just hit, okay. Okay, if I press drive select, then that's gonna show your drive modes up here on the screen. Efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. So I can change that there. Obviously, we know what hazards and traction off are. Now we have right here, our radio controls. We have our start stop button. All right, and then we have our park assist there, and we also have our driving, oh sorry, driving assist on that side. So you guys can see driving assist, if I press that button, park assist, if I press this button here, you guys will see, oh, there's a car moving behind me here, but you will see everything when it comes to the parking assist there and everything that you guys can use in order to help with your parking sensors and your controls and getting around. And then obviously right there is our parking brake drive mode selector this is how we move the car by putting our foot on the brake going back for drive up for neutral and then all the way up for reverse and then go back and we're in the park all right so there we go that's our parking right there parking brake is your parking all right so then we move over to the armrest here pull that open and then we got a big deep armrest can you guys see to the bottom there that's like the abyss that is like no man's land if anything goes down there it's going to be stolen and very safely tucked away underneath there now we do have a big panel roof right here as well letting in a lot of natural light and then up top you guys will see that we have controls for our panel roof our sos button dome lights floodlights everything up top here and then we also have the visors with the mirrors and light as well now let's talk about the overall screens and technology in this car now for our digital instrument cluster, we're looking at 10.25 inches and 11.6 on our infotainment screen. Now this is Audi's MMI system that you guys are used to, so it has everything that you guys need. I mean, I'm just going to kind of do quick scrolls because this is very customizable uh, when it comes to just putting whatever kind of information here, doing your driver uh, profiles, specific drivers, all kinds of stuff. As you guys can see, I can go from my profile i can add a user and guest i mean i can change everything here when it comes to what's being displayed at the time the navigation what's being connected all that stuff is here on this system guys make sure you guys take a deep dive into this when you come check out check out the car because you have everything you need right here in this 11 inch screen now for the speedo we also have wait back it up i mentioned to you guys that we do have power shifters now and i completely <laughs> looked over them Remember, we do have paddle shifters now, standard for the 2024 model year, and they are right here. As you guys can see, they are mounted to the steering wheel, so they move with the steering wheel. You know where they are at all times. Completely looked over that. Okay, now back to this digital instrument cluster, as you guys can see. So now I'm gonna press those buttons so you guys can see 
what everything looks like when it comes to our different views. As you guys can see, we can change the views up, right? But there's more we can do when it comes to those views by changing the information that is in the Speedo, like the navigation, as you guys can see there, which is really cool because obviously the navigation is taking up the screen, but you got everything you need, like our mileage. We have 182 miles of battery range. We're in park right there, as you guys can see. You guys can see we're not moving, so zero miles per hour. Our climate, our seatbelt isn't fasting, the time, all that kind of stuff. Our elevation, it's all there which is really cool for that. But we can also do things like our fuel, not fuel consumption, our electric consumption. You guys can see we have our radio, telephone, all that good stuff there. Now that's not the only thing because we can move all that stuff in the center. So we can have our big speedo, but move everything in the center. But So just keep in mind, using these buttons here, this is super configurable. And you can also mess with some stuff on the settings part on the screen here to where if you go to settings you can go into your digital instrument cluster you can change things there as far as you would need to but there's tons of stuff when it comes to the settings here as well so again there's not one thing you don't have in here that you need uh, keep in mind we also have our uh, interior lighting for our ambient lighting in here as well part of a package which we will talk about in a sticker breakdown in just a moment but there's a lot to go over here so i kind of wanted to just give you an idea of what the q4 e-tron is when it comes to technology and everything that's offered here in this model right here in the front of the cockpit now let's sit in the back of the q450 e-tron and see if these seats in the rear are as comfortable as they are up front because they were like pillows and as you guys can see we have the black leather the gray stitching all throughout same flavor as in the front and it looks very soft we'll talk about that in just a second as oh yeah <laughs> you sink into these things that feels good all right i'm loving this already so you see i have plenty of leg room about six foot here is my height um so you can tell as far as my legs and yeah i'm i'm pretty good here we have our floor matting here we have our lcd screen for our climate controls we have our usb-c down there the 12 volt right there or uh, 12 volt lighter there the soto speakers on the door paneling here as you guys can see both up and down you also have the soft touches the aluminum finish on the door handles the stitch as well on the uh, black parts so of the soft touch so again a great place to be we also have a lot of natural lighting with that panel roof letting it in and then in the middle of these seats we do have an armrest here you guys can see that and that is going to show off the cup holders right there but this is a good place to be i'm very comfortable and i feel like i'm ready to go for along for the ride for the q450 um and probably fall asleep back here <laughs> now let's talk about everything when it comes to the 2024 audi q450 e-tron quad show and the pricing breakdown options and features so your base price is going to start at fifty five thousand two hundred dollars but after the additional options that we have here today and the 1195 destination charge you see there well we're looking at a total price of sixty six thousand three hundred and ten dollars so how did we get there well we got a couple packages here but keep in mind that the pebble gray and black interior is included so your pebble gray paint and black interior free but the big package here is the prestige package and that's seven thousand dollars but this is everything you get for seven thousand dollars now so i don't bore you i'll go over that slowly so you guys can see it but there's a lot of great stuff there we kind of mentioned some of it on the walk around but look at all of that stuff that you get the extra additional things like the led interior lighting the led lights the dual pane acoustic glass the power front adjusted seats with the uh, bolsters the sonos premium sound system all that comes in this package wireless phone charging pad your um audi navigation plus it's all there in the prestige package this is definitely one to get but make sure you guys pause that and zoom in if you need to see that a little bit more now the black optic package you can see that pretty well on the exterior with the 20 inch five spoke or five y spoke design wheels and bicolor finish and the black exterior elements and roof rails that is thirteen hundred dollars for that black active package then you have the trailer hitch at $650, the black Audi rings and badges, $350, the Audi guard protection kit, $320, and the Audi beam rings, $295. That is your option setup for this 2024 model year on the Q50 e-tron. Now, this is everything standard that you get on the Q4 e-tron. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. So you guys can see the technical equipment there. 
you guys can see the comfort and technology and again i won't read all this so i don't bore you but make sure you guys pause it and zoom in screenshot so you guys can see everything you want to see specifically about this q4 you also have the safety and convenience there and then you have your warranty and maintenance keep in mind four years fifty thousand whichever occurs first for the new vehicle warranty eight years a hundred thousand whichever comes first for the high voltage battery coverage 12 year limited mile for a, a corrosion and you also have four years roadside assistance as well so all great things for the q4 e-tron quattro um this is gonna be something that's pretty big and out there on the road you guys will see these all around so before you see these you know you now know everything you need to know about the q450 so with the amazing prestige package adding the black optic package and a couple of other things what do you guys feel about this specific q450 e-tron for 2024 knowing what's new for 2024 seeing what we have here today knowing everything about the charging and range all that good stuff what are you guys feeling about the 66,000 price range? Is this the Q450 for you guys? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to help further support the channel and the dealership, check the links in the description so you guys can check out this specific Q450 and get it in your garage today. Now, with that said, make sure you guys subscribe, click the notification bell, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.